Warning! Do not hit your keyboard with a gamepad. So, welcome back to the final update of the forest, in which we're gonna take care of all of the loose ends in order to take care of everything that we have yet to be done, for instance, the warp zones. You have to hurry because warp zones will automatically close after some time. Welcome to 8-Bit Super Meat Boy, in which Meat Boy becomes uh, the Kool-Aid Man which is flying in the air carrying Bandage Girl along. And speaking of bandages, we're finally getting our first bandage into the game, believe it or not. Bandages are entirely optional because, well, collecting them just makes it so that you can unlock several new characters to use in two levels, except in Warp Zones where you're locked to using one single character and most of the time it will be Meat Boy, but other times there will be other characters. And yeah, notice the thing that we have three lives. This is no joke. You are given three tries in order to beat any single level in your warp zone. If you die, you have to redo the entire zone. Oh, was that really my reward for beating a warp zone? I don't want to beat any single one of them again. But we're gonna have to do it. The red warp zones mean that we're gonna see a new buddy. And that buddy is 4-Bit Meat Boy and 4-Bit Bandage Girl. Oh boy, that was worth the trip. Oh, and... And 4-Bit Commander video too. And 4-Bit Lasers, which is part of the 4-Bit Bit Trip game that was never released. I've never played any of the Bit Trip games, but is Commander video supposed to sound like Pac-Man? Oh boy, are these old games confusing. So we get to play as Commander Video and almost die, but yeah, the fun thing about this guy is that, well, he can glide all around the place, just like Princess Peach into that Super Mario Bros. 2 game. But since they're hyping him from being part of the Bit Trip Runner game, you'd expect the guy to actually run fast, but no, unfortunately he's very, very slow, but thankfully his gliding jump makes up for it. After completing Commander Video's Warp Zone, you can play as him in every level that you want. Basically, the main draw with him is that he allows you to get to Warp Zones that are otherwise unaccessible, or you can try your hands at daring stunts like this one. Have fun pulling that out! Ho 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 ho! Also, it is worth mentioning that whenever you unlock a Warp Zone, you can go back to it anytime you want, but... Yeah, we're gonna go look at Commander Video in the character selection screen, in which we can see is a set. Floaty and slow. So we're gonna go into this level because this is where the final warp zone of the light world is. There's always three warp zones into the light world and there's one into the dark world. I'm surprised I managed to get there in time considering... Considering Commander Video's incredibly slow speed, but yeah, we're gonna play on the Game Boy now. In order to sum it up, we have four warp zones into each world, well, except for two worlds, but that's pretty much another story, but in three of the warp zones you'll find two bandages scattered in some of the level, and finally the other warp zone basically serves in order to unlock a brand new character. The bandages into the early warp zones are complete giveaways, because, yeah, it's pretty much in the way here, even though, well, you would try your hardest to miss it because eventually the saw shooter will destroy it, there's only like one or two blocks of difference between the one that you'll be able to step on before the entire walkway fades away. Generally I'm not a fan of the Game Boy Warp Zone, but I have to say the grey border around the screen is a nice touch. Oh, Daisy. Oh, okay, or whatever thing you are. Okay, so we only have one warp zone remaining, into the dark world this time around, so basically we have to take the hard road up here in order to finally get... Okay, thank you for finishing my phrase. Warp zones are always neat because there's always a collection of all of those pictures at the very beginning in order to set the tone, not necessarily for the level because most of the time they have nothing to do with the level content, but hey, essentially it's pretty much fan contribution that we have here. So, welcome to the adventures of Meat Boy in Space. This warp zone is quite more challenging than the other ones because you're gonna have to contend with doing incredibly narrow jumps on very small platforms. In fact, it's a whole lot easier to do wall jumps here. More so into this level, you have no choice but to wall jump. This is your wall jump training simulator that we have here. 
Hooray, we've rescued squares. How about that? But we're not entirely done with warp zones. I'm actually a horrible liar. But sometime you will see Bandage Girl glitching out and... Welcome to your worst nightmare, the negative warp zone. There are secret warp zones that you can only access whenever you pick up Bandage Girl at the end of a level, whenever she's glitching, and that only has a very low probability of happening, so essentially whenever you get there, you're playing this level at your own risk and peril. Because if you stumble onto this level whenever you're on the first world, there's absolutely no way you'll be able to beat this level whenever you'll be playing the game for the first time, considering that those levels, for the most part, are incredibly difficult. Usually, you'll need to have played most of the game in order to be able to have the skill required to make all of those jumps, because, yeah, this section right here is a huge pain in the ass, if only because it's not as forgiving as it looks. But whatever, all's fair into a secret map. Thank you for taking the time to read our gibberish. Even though you have 3 lives in order to beat a negative warp zone, it really has no incidence because you can go back to it at any time you want from world 1. So welcome to the ending of this world, we're finally gonna pick up all of the bandages that we've left behind into the regular levels, in fear of either missing the part time or simply not distracting the level design itself. Now that we have nothing else to do, we're finally gonna get all of those beauties. We're gonna use all of the bandages that we collect in order to stitch away the pain from playing this game. Or maybe not, there's nothing painful about this game. Although, you wouldn't guess it with this bandage. This bandage is legitimately difficult to get, at least at this point of the game. I, remem I remember having some problems getting it back in the time. This is where you'll definitely see that I don't have as much practice getting those because, well, you can only get them once, so... Oh my god! <laughs> But, hey, at least I finally managed to find out the right way in order to get this bandage, so... Here we go, and we even have a clear way all the way up to the finish. Thanks a lot, wall jumps. You saved my life once again. Many of the bandages in the game will also be about mastering hair control, so that you'll be going from whatever I've just done to this. It's always cute to see somebody getting better and better at this game. It's just like watching a baby stumble around and finally learn how to walk. Oh. Thank you for collecting a bandage, I'm gonna need it for Bandage Girl right now. No wonder nobody likes Dr. Fetus, because he takes the time to punch every single person he meets into the face. Especially girls. So this bandage here was the first bandage which I legitimately had a lot of trouble getting, because yeah, you need a lot of finesse in order to pull up the jump all the way back up. Say hello to another bandage which is a complete giveaway, you have to jump up and into a corner in order to get it. And once you've gotten it, it's a good old run back to the exit of the level. I'm gonna keep all of the running back to the exit part if only because, well, the bandage doesn't count unless you finish the level with it, otherwise it's, you have to restart all over again. And basically I'm not gonna hit it this out because, well, bandages are still pretty easy to get, but you can be sure that in the later worlds, they will become a complete nightmare to get. And there's a few ones in particular that I'm especially dreading. This bandage can be pretty easy to miss, if only because it blends in kinda well with the background right here. That, and it's right beside the giant angry homicidal sawblade. Sawblades have feelings. Say hello to another bandage that you're gonna need some precision in order to get because you have to break up all of the walls and... Yeah, basically I call this the clusterfuck way of getting the bandage. I'm surprised that I managed to get out of this alive. As for this bandage, you can either jump out of this part by avoiding the saw blade, but if you don't feel like it, you can also just take commander video and then fall down and glide all the way back to the start. It's a longer route, but some people find it easier and more foolproof, so... Do whatever you want to do. This is probably the most conveniently placed bandage in the entire game. It doesn't even require any effort to go all the way back. And yes, somebody was having fun getting this bandage, if only because he's a moron that tries to jump through the saw blade like this instead of trying to go around it, but come on, I have to jump through the clock, if only because it's so fun. Time to die? I don't think so. 
So yeah, the race element of this level being pretty understated, it's pretty easy to get this bandage on time. So congratulations, you have all 20 bandages. And once that you collect 10 bandages, you unlock Head Crab. Aw, he looks so happy that we selected him. How nice. So anyway, the appeal of Head Crab is that while he's a slow character, well, he can cling on to everything. He can hang on on ceilings, he can get stuck into the wall in order to not fall down. And well, it's not a character you'll use a lot, but it's still a pretty nice novelty. And also we have his cousin, the Goo Ball from World of Goo, who does exactly the same thing, only though you have to use a cheat code in order to use him. And he appears into some level in Super Meat World. So here we go, folks! We're finally done with the forest, and it's time to move on to something else. In Chapter 2, it's time for you to get sick and get treated at the hospital. With death.